problem 4.4-1. The problem statement reads, determine the maximum stress in the shaft as a result of stress concentrations. Here's the shaft. We see it has a change in cross section. There's a fillet here with a radius also shown and an applied torque. Let's do this problem. Okay, I've written the equation that we're going to be using to get our answer for this problem. And it is the maximum shear stress is equal to this multiplier k times the uh, internal torque T times uh, the radius C and divided by the polar moment of inertia J. And to find K we're going to be using this chart shown here. To use this chart we're going to use a couple of ratios that are based on the geometry of our problem. First of all we need the uh, the ratio of the large diameter to the small diameter. That will allow us to select which curve we're going to use to get our k value. The other ratio is this uh, fillet radius over the small diameter ratio. We'll use that uh, as well. Let's go ahead and find those now. Okay, we've got our two ratios that we need to use this chart to find our multiplier k. Uh, the first ratio is the large diameter to small diameter. Uh, from the geometry shown above, we get a value of 1.66. And for a ratio of r over small diameter, that's r is the uh, fillet radius, uh, we get a value of 0 0.188. And we'll use now this information to find a k value on the chart. First we're going to use our ratio of, of uh, large diameter over small diameter. We have 1.66. That's very close to uh, 1.67 here, which represents uh, this line here shown on the chart. So that's the line that we're going to be using uh, to get our k value. So uh, we will start then here at the bottom of the chart. We'll come in at our value for r over little d and we had a, a value of 0 0.188. Here's 0 0.15, 16, 17, 18. We're almost to uh, the 0. 1, 9 level. We're coming right about here. And what I've done is I've drawn a vertical line from a value of 0 0.188 here on the horizontal axis up to the point where I reached our curve. And that's the curve that is uh, the large d over small d ratio, which was about 1.66. Now I've drawn a horizontal line between the intersection between my vertical line previously drawn and the curve 1.67 curve draw the horizontal line and where I intersect the vertical axis I will read a k value from the scale and the chart gives us a k value of approximately 1.23 we will be substituting that value into this expression above for maximum shear stress we will also need a value for T which is equal to 300 foot-pounds or pound feet. You can go either way. And C will be, for this problem, the radius of the smaller diameter, which is going to be uh, 0 0.4 inches. I've written the expression for tau max. It's equal to a k value of 1.23. The torque is 300 foot pounds. And to be able to get the units I want, which is going to be in pounds per square inch, I need to convert feet to inches. So I'll multiply uh, the value by 12 inches per foot. C is 0 0.4 inches and J, polar moment of inertia, is the radius 0.4 inches to the fourth power times pi halves. Solving this gives me a value of 44,046 pounds per square inch or 44.0 KSI. And we're done.